Hi, Carl Ford here. I am at IT Expo in Miami, and I'm here with my friend Barlow Keener of Keener Law Group. How are you, Barlow? Good, Carl. Good to see you. Barlow's been moderating our uh, Super Wi-Fi conference, and uh, I got to thank you for doing that, number one. And number two, uh, you've been kind of uh, shepherding all the content, and how's it been? What's been going on? Well, we had a um, great uh, sessions yesterday, actually, on... Um, we kicked it off with uh, former commissioner Jonathan Edelstein, and uh, he's head of the DAS forum. And so, you know, that kind of said, okay, white spaces, is, which is a nascent industry, is ready for the prime time, you know, in the maybe using it as backhaul for small cell. Uh, we also had a battle of the devices, our first minor battle, which will get bigger, and um, we had four vendors talk about their devices, white space radios, and the specs in the radios, how, how much bandwidth they'll get, um, throughput they'll get, uh, how much, what sort of, what price range they are, where they're being used, and we passed around some radios yesterday. So no vote, no, no real battle, but that's coming. And so uh, the industry's sticking together, but you know, soon there'll be competition, which we're looking forward to. And we've heard that there are uh, multiple uh, device makers that are starting to make devices. So we've just about got commercial rollout, meaning that the WISP will have uh, radios in the field uh, in their real projects, FCC approved radios, uh, just next month. So that was great news. And, and I understand that, uh, is it today or tomorrow we're going to have the small cell discussion? I think that's tomorrow, right? Uh, we'll have the uh, small cell discussion uh, tomorrow, that's correct. Yeah. And so uh, focusing on uh, white spaces, you know, really is a backhaul product. White spaces can uh, shoot through trees and foliage, uh, which was a terrible problem for the Muni uh, Wi-Fi business. But if you want to deliver to a small cell and many small cells inside in urban areas, through trees and buildings, white spaces, because it has the it's in the TV spectrum right. to shoot through trees. And uh, so you'll have it used to get internet to those small cells. That's called backhaul. Yeah, and, and so I didn't do, do justice to, to uh, commi former Commissioner Adelstein's PCIA. What that means is that the big tower companies like American Tower and, Amer and uh, some of the Fiber right. Tower and those guys Members. are actually going to start using white space for their backhaul solution. So besides the fiber, they've got alternatives which helps with the self-organizing networks and all these other plans that people have as to how they're doing a small cell. Yeah, having Jonathan there uh, will open the door because he knows white spaces now really well, although he was participated in the order. Um, American Tower and Crown Castle are his primary um, board members, I I'll call it, at the DAS Forum and PCIA. So that's going to be really helpful. And the other thing that it's interesting is that white spaces has become a worldwide uh, phenomenon or regulatory regime or system, if you want to call it that, ecosystem, wireless ecosystem. And so at the conference, we've got someone from Vietnam, we've got someone from uh, Nigeria, Lagos, and we've got uh, someone from Italy and uh, uh, UK, and so we've got uh, Finland. Um, so we're talking a lot about what's going on globally as well as here in the U.S. And uh, Telcordia and Spectrum Bridge have been very big. Uh, they provide databases for the white space. And so the, each radio speaks to a database, and the, that database tells the radio, turn on or turn off, because there's a, another use, like a TV channel is used in this particular channel. And so Telcordia, John Malyar, and uh, Peter Stanforth, they've been out proselytizing uh, white spaces uh, to the world. and uh, and doing projects in Africa and in Europe and getting standards set, uh, 802.11af and uh, 802.22, you know, and, and there's a group called the PAUSE group, which is a standards right. group. So uh, the industry is moved from sort of just an idea to uh, really, we're, we're about to kick off uh, some real, with Carlson Wireless has his radios, Adaptrum's announced a that they're going to have a commercial radio, and Newell's talking about having a commercial radio, KTS has a commercial radio. So it's kind of, it's, people are excited about it, the industry right now. 
Cool. Sounds good. I think that by the time we hit Vegas in August, we'll be in great shape. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Good to see you, Carl. Good to see you. <laughs>